Today, we are going to compare two popular cameras, the Sony A7RV and Sony A1. We are going to take a look at their features, who they are for, how they perform in various use cases, user experiences, and which one is the right one for you. Links to both of the cameras will be listed in the description below. Let's get started. The Sony A7RV and the Sony A1 are two digital cameras that were officially introduced respectively in the 26th of October 2022 and the 26th of January 2021. Let's take a look at how their specs compare to each other. We tested both cameras to assess their performance in different scenarios. Let's take a closer look at our ratings for each of them. Here are our ratings for the Sony A7RV. For portrait photography, we will give it a 10 out of 10 rating. For street photography, we will give it a 10 out of 10 rating. For sports photography, we will give it a 9 out of 10 rating. For day-to-day -day photography, we will give it a 10 out of 10 rating. For landscape photography, we will give it a 9 out of 10 rating. Here are our ratings for the Sony A1. For portrait photography, we will give it a 10 out of 10 rating. For street photography, we will give it a 10 out of 10 rating. For sports photography, we will give it a 9 out of 10 rating. For day-to-day -day photography, we will give it a 10 out of 10 rating. For landscape photography, we will give it a 8 out of 10 rating. Next, we will take a look at some sample photos from the Sony A7RV and the Sony A1. Keep in mind that these photos have editing done to them, so the result from your camera might be different. Let's start with the sample photos. Here are some sample photos from the Sony A7RV. And here are some sample photos from the Sony A1. Next, let's take a look at what other users of these cameras have to say about them. Here's what people have to say about the Sony A7RV. I recently upgraded to the A7R EVA, and it's fantastic. The picture quality with the 70 to 200 mm f2.8 GM2 is stunning, and the performance is lightning fast. The new features like improved stabilization, 10-bit video, and agile flip-out screen make it a must-have for hybrid shooting. The low-light performance is surprisingly good for a 61 MP sensor, and I haven't experienced any issues or overheating. Overall, it's an incredible machine. I absolutely love the Sony A7 RIV camera. It has addressed all the shortcomings of the A7 RE and has great features like the articulating flip screen and easier menu. It's great for seasoned pros or beginners with deep pockets. I've used it for art projects, portraits, industrial and commercial work, and it's been fantastic. Even though my A7 RAI broke after six years, I'm considering getting it fixed because it's still a great camera. Plus, with Sony's financing programs, it's a no-brainer to upgrade to the A7 RIV. Highly recommend. Here's what people have to say about the Sony A1. The camera takes amazing photos, but the battery life is not the best, so I recommend investing in extra batteries. The good thing is that I can still use batteries from my other Alpha cameras. I am really impressed with the camera's hybrid photo-video capabilities and its performance in underwater conditions. It may be more expensive than other options, but the peace of mind and the great features make it worth the investment for me. To conclude, here are our overall ratings for both of these cameras. Sony A7RV, we will give it an overall rating of 10 out of 10. Sony A1, we will give it an overall rating of 10 out of 10. 